Section 57 of The Glories of Mary by St. Alphonsus Liguri. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Various Prayers to Mary. Dedication of Oneself to Mary. O Most Holy Virgin Mother of God, Mary, I, blank, although most unworthy of being thy servant yet moved by thy wonderful mercy and by the desire to serve thee choose thee to-day in presence of my guardian angel and of the whole celestial court for my especial lady advocate and mother and make the firm resolution that i always will love and serve thee for the future and do whatever i can to induce also others to love and serve thee i pray thee mother of god and my most kind and amiable mother by the blood of thy divine son which was shed for me that thou wilt receive me into the number of thy servants for thy child and servant for ever assist me in all my thoughts words and actions at every moment of my life that every step and breath may be directed to the greater glory of my god and through thy most powerful intercession obtain for me that i may never more offend my beloved jesus that i may glorify and love him in this life and that i may also love thee my most beloved and dear mother that i may love thee and enjoy thee through eternity in holy paradise amen my mother mary i recommend to thee my soul especially at the hour of my death dedication of a family to mary o blessed and immaculate virgin our queen and mother refuge and consolation of all those who are in misery i prostrate before thy throne with all my family choose thee for my lady mother and advocate with god i with all who belong to me dedicate myself forever to thy service and pray thee o mother of god to receive us into the number of thy servants taking us all under thy protection aiding us in life and still more at the hour of our death o mother of mercy i choose thee lady and ruler of my whole house of my relatives of my interests and all my affairs do not disdain to take care of them dispose of them all as it pleases thee bless me then and all my family and do not permit that any of us should offend thy son do thou defend us in temptations deliver us from dangers provide for us in our necessities counsel us in our doubts console us in afflictions be with us in sickness and especially in the agonies of death do not permit the devil to glory in having in his chains any of us who are now consecrated to thee but grant that we may come to thee in heaven to thank thee and together with thee to praise and love our redeemer jesus for all eternity amen thus may it be prayer of saint ephraim to mary abbreviated o immaculate and holy pure virgin mary mother of god queen of the world hope of the despairing thou art the joy of the saints thou art the reconciler of sinners to god thou art the advocate of the abandoned the secure haven of the shipwrecked thou art the consolation of the world the ransom of captives the comforter of the afflicted the salvation of the world o great queen we take refuge in thy protection we confide in none but thee o most pure virgin non nobis es alia quam in te fiducia o virgo sincerissima o lady after god we have no other hope but in thee we bear the name of thy servants do not permit the enemy to bear us away to hell. Hail, best mediatrix of God and men. Ave, Dei et hominem, mediatrix optima. I salute thee, O great mediatrix of peace between man and God, O mother of Jesus our Lord, the love of all men and of God. To thee be honor and blessing with the Father and with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer of St. Thomas of Aquine o most blessed and sweet virgin mary full of compassion i recommend to thy mercy my soul and my body my thoughts my works my life and my death o my lady help me and make me strong against the snares of the devil obtain for me a true and perfect love with which i may love with all my heart thy most beloved son and my lord jesus christ and after him may i love thee above all things 
O my queen and mother, with thy most powerful intercession, make this love to remain with me until death, after which I may be conducted by thee to the country of the blessed. Prayer of St. Blosius to the Blessed Virgin. Hail Mary, hope of the despairing, help of the destitute, to whom thy son pays so great honor, that whatever thou dost ask, thou dost at once obtain. Whatever thou dost wish is at once done. To thee are committed the treasures of the celestial kingdom. Grant, O lady, that amid the storms of this life, I may always turn my eyes to thee. To thy mercy I commend my soul and my body. Direct and protect me at every hour and at every moment, O my sweet protectress. Another prayer. Hail, most compassionate mother of mercy. Hail, consolation and pardon, Mary most desired. Who shall not love thee? Thou our light in doubt, our consolation in sorrow, our relief in distress, our refuge in perils and temptations. Thou, after thy only begotten Son, art our secure salvation. Blessed are those who love thee, O Lady. Incline, I pray thee, thy ear of mercy to the prayers of this thy servant, this miserable sinner, and dissipate the darkness of my vices by the rays of thy sanctity, that I may please thee. Ejaculations to the Most Holy Mary. Mother of God, remember me, St. Francis Xavier. Virgin and Mother, make me always to remember thee, St. Philip Neri. Virgin Mary, Mother of God, pray to Jesus for me, the same saint. O Lady, obtain that Jesus may not cast me from him, St. Ephraim. O Mary, may my heart never cease to love thee, nor my tongue to praise thee, St. Bonaventure. O Lady, by the love which thou dost bear to Jesus, help me to love him, St. Bridget. O Mary, deign to make me thy servant, Blessed Jane of France. O Mary, I give myself wholly to thee, do thou accept and preserve me, St. Mary Magdalene of Pazzi. O Lady, do not abandon me until death. Padre Spinelli. Hail Mary, my mother. Padre Francis Brancaccio. Holy Mary, my advocate, pray for me. Padre Sotorio Caputi. How sweet, O my mother, is thy name Mary. It gives me peace and so much pleasure that I wish always to repeat it. The Most Holy Mary revealed to a soul devoted to her that it pleased her much to be honored by her servants with the following devotions. I thank thee, O Eternal Father, for the power given to Mary thy daughter, our Father, Hail Mary, glory be to God. I thank thee, O Eternal Son, for the wisdom given to Mary thy mother, our Father, Hail Mary, glory be to God. I thank thee, O Eternal Spirit, for the love given to Mary thy spouse. Our Father, Hail Mary, glory be to God. To thee we cry, O Queen of Mercy, turn towards us, and let us behold thy dispensing favors, bestowing remedies, giving strength. Show us thy compassionate countenance, and we shall be safe. O Mistress of all things, Saint of saints, our strength and refuge, God, as it were, of the world, glory of heaven, except those who love thee. Hear us, for thy son honors thee and denies thee nothing. St. Bernard. Come, hasten, O lady, and aid with thy mercy, thy most sinful servant, who invokes thee, and deliver him from the hands of the enemy. The same saint. Who will not sigh to thee? With love and grief we sigh, how then shall we not sigh to thee, O solace of the miserable, refuge of outcasts, deliverer of captives? We are secure that if thou dost see our miseries, thy compassion will not be slow to relieve us. The same saint. O our lady and our advocate, recommend us to thy son. Obtain, O blessed one, by the grace thou hast merited, that he who did condescend with thy mediation to become a participator of our infirmity and misery may also by thy intercession make us to share in his blessedness and glory the same saint in thee i have placed the hope of my whole heart st john damascene it is not possible o lady 
that thou shouldest abandon him who places his hope in thee st bernard if thou dost only wish for our salvation it will be impossible that we should not be saved st anselm hail daughter of god the father hail mother of god the son hail spouse of god the holy ghost hail temple of the holy trinity simon garcia o virgin how beautiful thou art the mother of my god my heart is enamoured with thy goodness thanks be to god and to mary may all things be to the eternal glory of the most holy trinity and of the immaculate mary live always jesus our love and mary our hope with joseph and teresa our advocates acclamations in praise of mary o most holy virgin o queen of angels how complete and perfect heaven has created thee o oh, that i might appear in the eyes of god as thou dost appear to me thou art so beautiful and lovely that with thy beauty thou dost ravish hearts when thou dost appear everything appears deformed every beauty is eclipsed every grace disappears precisely as the stars disappear at the rising of the sun thy great servant st john damascene contemplated thee and when he saw thee so lovely it appeared to him thou hast taken the flower and the best of every creature and therefore he called thee the comeliness of nature nature venustatem the grace and comeliness of all creatures st augustine the brightest light of the doctors gazed on thee and thou didst appear to him so beautiful and lovely that he called thee the form and countenance of god and it did not seem to him adulation thou art worthy of being called the form of god si forma dei te appella digna existis thy devout servant albertus magnus contemplated thee and it seemed to him that all the graces and gifts that were found in the most celebrated women of the ancient dispensation were all surpassed in thee the golden mouth of sarah when with thy smile thou makest heaven and earth joyful the tender and sweet glance of the fruitful leah with which thou dost soften the heart of god inexorable to sinners the splendor of the countenance of the beautiful rachel as thou dost obscure the sun by thy radiant beauty the grace and the comeliness of the discreet abigail with which thou dost appease the wrath of an angry god the fire and strength of the brave judith when thou dost powerfully and graciously subdue the proudest hearts in a word sovereign princess from the vast ocean of thy beauty flow forth like streams the beauty and grace of all creatures the sea learned to curl its waves and wave its crystals from the golden locks of thy head which curling gracefully floated upon thy shoulders and ivory neck the crystal fountains and their clear depths learn their quiet and steady flow from the serenity of thy beautiful brow and thy placid countenance the graceful bow when it is most beautiful has carefully learned from thy eyebrow to arch itself gracefully that it may better dart forth its rays of light the morning diane and the gentle hesperus are flashes from thy radiant eyes the white lily and the ruddy rose have stolen their colors from thy cheeks the envious purple and coral sigh for the ruby of thy lips the purest milk and sweetest honey are distillations from the sweet honeycomb of thy mouth the odorous jasmine and the fragrant rose of damascus have stolen their perfumes from thy breath the loftiest cedar and the finest and most erect cypress esteem themselves happy when they see that they are the image of thy straight and lofty neck and the palm tree enviously and in emulation imitates thy stately stature and thus o lady every created beauty is the shadow and copy of thy beauty therefore i do not wonder o sovereign princess that heaven and earth are placed under thy feet for they are so small and thou so great that when thy feet only rest upon them they are enriched and they deem themselves happy and blessed when they can kiss them so the moon when st john the evangelist saw her at thy feet and the splendor of the sun was increased when thou didst clothe thyself with his rays the evangelist blinded by the greatness of thy light was lost in wonder and beside himself at the sight of so stupendous a miracle of beauty in which the beauty of heaven and earth was contained and he said and there appeared a great sign in heaven 
signum magnum appiruit in celo. There appeared a great wonder in heaven, that amazed the angels and terrified the earth, and that miracle was a woman clothed from head to foot, with light and splendor, whom the resplendent son chose for his mother, and he placed himself in her womb, and to her the fair moon serves as a robe encircled with silver, and innumerable stars crown her temples, and are emulous of encircling her locks, and adorn her head with a wreath of precious gems, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Et in capite eus, corona duodecim stellarum. And thus the saints, O most sacred virgin, marveling at so great splendor, which surpasses the brightness of the sun, and the graceful loveliness of the moon, though they be the perfect flower and ideal of all beauty, and considering the acclamations that burst forth from the heavens, never cease to admire thy beauty, and do nothing but exclaim and extol thee also, with acclamations of wonder and amazement. St. Peter Damien, paying to thee his homage, says, O holy and most holy of all the saints, and the richest treasure of all sanctity. And St. Bernard, O admirable virgin, O woman, the glory of all other women, the best and greatest that the world has ever possessed. St. Epiphanius, O heaven, more vast and extended than the Empyrean, virgin truly full of grace. And the Catholic Church, in the name of all, sings, O most clement, most merciful, O always sweet Virgin Mary. And I also, O heavenly princess, with thy leave, although I am the least of thy servants, I also wish to make my acclamations of wonder and amazement. O gracious and beautiful heaven, more vast than the Empyrean, since in this the immensity of God is not contained, but he was even concealed in thy womb. O greatest treasure, in which was deposited the most rich jewel of our redemption. O mother of sinners, beneath thy mantle we are protected. O consolation of the world, in whom all the afflicted, infirm and disconsolate, find comfort. O beautiful eyes that ravish hearts. O coral lips that take souls captive. O beneficent hands, filled with hyacinths, that are always dispensing graces. O pure creature, who dost appear so like God, and whom I should have esteemed God, if faith had not taught me that thou art not God, although thou hast a splendor, and I know not what, of supreme deity. O great lady, empress of heaven, enjoy for a thousand eternities the grandeur of thy state, the immensity of thy graces, and the felicity of thy glory. Only I supplicate thee, O compassionate mother, that thou wilt not forget us, who beg to be thy servants and children. And because thou art the depositary of all graces, and the best and most privileged of all created things, obtain for us thy servants, O lady, that we may be favored far more than any others in the world. And may all the world know that the dear children of Mary are the best of heaven and earth, the beloved children who are tenderly cared for, and enjoy the best that such a mother has to give, the well-beloved, who are caressed in the bosom of the Queen of Heaven, and are doubly favored and doubly caressed by thy majesty. Thus I hope, O most beautiful Rachel, and thus I trust thou wilt do, O sovereign princess. In the name of what thou art, do it, for all heaven prostrate at thy feet, is supplicating and praying thee for this. Consent, utter but one loving fiat, 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 be it done, be it done. O oh man, what art thou doing? How dost thou love the creatures of the earth, deceitful and lying creatures, who betray and make thee lose thy soul and body, paradise and God? And why not love Mary, the most loving, the most amiable, the most faithful, who, after enriching thee with consolations and graces in this life, will obtain for thee, from her divine Son, the eternal glory of paradise. O oh Mary, Mary, beautiful above all creatures, lovely next to Jesus, above all loves, dearer than all created things, more graceful than all graces, have pity on my miserable heart, miserable because it ought to love thee, and does not love thee. Thou canst kindle it with thy holy love. Turn, O Mary, thy loving eyes upon me, look upon me, draw me to thyself, and obtain that, next to God, I may love none but thee, O most gracious, most amiable Mary, mother of Jesus, and my mother. 
End of section 57. End of The Glories of Mary by St. Alphonsus Liguri.